This is the top 10 of the worst couple in 90 Day Fiancé. One of the worst couples that I have seen in my life is by far Anfisa and Jorge. Anfisa is from Russia and Jorge is from America. And I have seen in this couple violence, verbal abuse. Um, <clears throat> even at the end of the show, Jorge uh, became a criminal and spent like two three years in the jail. I do not uh, remember exactly what happened, but I think that this related with drugs. And apparently, he, he was a, a criminal record before the, the show started. So you, just thinking this. And Fisa is a, a young, young girl who met a millionaire in the internet. And he told her that she will have the green card and everything that she wants. Well, that sounds uh, like bullshit, but Anfisa believed that and she decided to move to America. And after that, uh, she discovered that he is in debt, that he's poor, and he's also a criminal. So this makes all of these things and you can imagine what will happen. But in this case, also Anfisa uh, has a really horrible behavior. He, he used... Uh, become really aggressive, she threatened him and she literally told a couple of times in the show that she's only using him for the money and the green card. It is common sense that if you find uh, someone that looks like a model and doesn't speak your language and you are from a nice country, well, it, it is expected that she, she wants something. But apparently, uh, Jorge literally know that and he lied to her. And there is a couple of scenes when Anfisa, uh, both of them are horrible, horrible people. But then I started to watch uh, the channel of Anfisa and I discovered that she is making a lot of progress with, with her body and I respect that. But she's working hard to become a, a fitness model. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, I will really appreciate that. I lost my job and I need at least 1000 subscribers to get uh, some money uh, for this. The second couple that is in my top of the worst couple in the show is Larissa and Colt. Larissa Lima is from Brazil and Colt is the American. In this case, uh, everything started uh, pretty soft, a couple of discussions about uh, flowers and that she didn't feel comfortable living in, in I think it's Las Vegas, Nevada, it's in Nevada. But just imagine, you receive uh, the love of your life if you didn't even put flowers or a gift of something to express your affection for, for your future wife. That is not acceptable, but also Larissa is, I think that she's expecting a lot of things and she's complaining about everything. In the first season, um, I'm completely in the cold side and cold team in the first season. In the second season, uh, everything completely and I start to feel more empathy with Larissa and I watch the, the real face of Debbie she's starting to be extremely awkward uh, extremely cruel, salty and really bad so I can imagine how she treat Larissa and the real situation that they live together it looks like hell, I mean the cops three times and she finished in the jail doing social service and a lot of different things it's just a horrible experience I guess and Colt um, apparently cheat her with a lot of different girls online talking almost with 30 40 girls sending uh, her notes and a lot of a lot of a lot of trash even if you watch Larissa really aggressive and fight everyone, I feel empathy with her.
second season how she treated uh, her new girlfriend Jessica. Jessica is a lovely girl and she just uh, treat her like like a piece of garbage. She just use her to be in the show, get some money, and she literally he literally didn't care about uh, her feelings. So in this season, in the second season, I, I am with Larissa, um, but definitely I think that these two people are, are by far one of the most horrible persons in this show. I don't know if this is uh, actor is real, but for me it looks extremely real, the feelings that Jessica have with, with the cold. And he was living with another woman and talking about crazy things with 20, 30 years. This is insane. He literally don't have morals or values and, and her mother support that behavior that this is extremely awful. Extremely horrible to watch. This is completely insane. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Press the subscribe button, smash that, destroy the button, I need at least uh, 1000 subs. Um, another couple that is extremely horrible and disgusting to watch is Angela and Michael. In this case, um, Michael is from N Nigeria and Angela is American. She's really old. I think that uh, she double fault uh, his age. She have like 50, 60, something like that, Michael 30, 20, I don't know. However, almost 80% uh, of the time she's yelling, she's humiliating, she's a really bully and she makes his life just a living hell. I can't understand why someone wants to be with a person like that. Michael, I think that he loves America and he really wants uh, the, the green car. He really wants to, to move to America to live. But uh, he tolerates a lot of abuse and really bad behavior. And I think that in this case uh, he tried to scam, him, to scam her and get some money, maybe even get the green card eventually. But he was really com committed with this that he held almost everything that Angela uh, <clears throat> did. If she uh, threw the cake in his face, he said, oh, it's okay, I love her. I will pass of that. If she yelled of him, he didn't uh, literally do nothing. In this case, uh, I think that this is a uh, really bad, uh, really bad behavior of Angela, and also from Michael. Both of them are extremely horrible people. But if I have to choose, I will definitely be in the side of Michael. I mean, trying to improve your quality of life and moving to another place is not an excuse to, to be treated like a rubbish bag, to be treated like like an animal and just, just, just watch this Michael come to, to talk with Angela and he give her a, a cake or something she completely starting to, to yell at him and throw the cake in his face and, I mean that is completely insane and this is just a small part that that the TV that the TV show just imagine uh, what will happen when the camera is not there. What crazy thing she will do. Angela, uh, at the beginning of the show, in the first season, I, I see her really exciting and happy just to, to meet him finally. But then a lot of uh, red flags are starting to appear. He's starting to become more and more aggressive and every every show she show more of that until um, she eventually uh, throw the cake and gel of him and starting to do a lot of crazy things. One one time they was talking with uh, 
American people pick up. There was another woman there and Angela completely freaked out and starting to become completely insane. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel.